Travis Wayne Goodsell. Uh, I'm just going to keep on doing videos all day long, a video marathon, until I'm silenced by my internet service. And remember, the church is responsible for all of this. They ordered it. They cut off my money so that I can't pay for the internet, so that I wouldn't be able to pay for rent. They so supposed that I would then be evicted, and that failed, and I'm still going on today doing videos. And so, yeah, the church is pissed. And so they actually called out the order for the actual hit with lies. So, yes, I have a deadline of the end of May to get kicked to the curb. Not move, kicked to the curb. That's assassination when you withhold a person's essential living needs. So, going over it, on Travis Wayne Goodsell, which became the victim target, uh, we see leading up to conference last October that uh, I was doing a blitzkrieg of videos going over 22nd September, 22nd September, 22nd September, 22nd September, 22nd September. And Everybody who's familiar with the church knows exactly what that date refers to. <laughs> Nephi and the Egyptian gold plates. <sighs> I don't know anything about Nephi and Egyptian gold plates. I know about Moroni and golden plates. Yeah. Yeah. And so the uh, church had computer hackers keep me from doing videos, keep me from working on computer videos on my computer, tampering with apps, hacking my computer. I even ha caught somebody hacking me this morning to see if I was working on a video. Yeah, well, couldn't you just wait? I'm going to do a blood screen. And if there were no videos, then you would know. You didn't have to hack my computer to find out what I'm doing. I'm very transparent. Nonetheless. And so... Uh, despite the uh, classics that I would love to talk about, you know, grooming Mormons mentally and emotionally to be uh, traumatized, I guess nobody of the younger generation knows what I'm referring to with the colored ghosts. That was back in the flannel board days of the church. Flannel board? What's that? <laughs> yeah, Mormon girls are no longer taught crafts, are they? They're taught how to to rebuild a car engine instead of crafts and sewing. <laughs> That's men's stuff. And so, I did the video, final, final YouTube video of Travis Wayne Goodsell. Brother in a Dew, most likely? Nope, terrorist win. <clears throat> See, everybody knows what I'm referring to when I say Brother in a Dew. Despite people's confusion over what that actually means. There are even fewer of those few who know that it refers to the mystic tie. And then there are next to nobody, except those who have seen my videos on it, 
who know that they were purposely using it in the book of Jacob <laughs> to send us a message. And I think I'm going to do that video next after I shower and shave after this video. <clears throat> it has to do with Canandaigua, New York, 1826, 9-11. <clears throat> and so then some time passed. as uh, I'm prevented by terrorists hacking my computer. And then I find out the news story of the secret combination Black Book exposes Mormon connection. The Skousens are involved. You'll never guess who's related, or who my defense attorney in this eviction thing was related to, or his siblings were related to his cousins, I guess. It's like his family and the Skousen family were like Ishmael's family and Lehi's family. <sighs> I was framed to go to my death. Anyway, I then am able to do conference videos which only 102 views on Travis Wayne Goodsell. And uh, then realized, hey, I'm, I'm back. They're backing off of the terrorist threats. So I'm going to have to teach them a lesson that if you're going to destroy me, you need to make it all Holocaust. Because I am a rebel. I am the black sheep of Mormonism. Even though I do videos like Ex Mormons Betray Me, the Book of Mormon is true. It is not a history. With a prominent Ex Mormon, <coughs> I nonetheless have others <laughs> There are just some gems you guys are purposely missing. And granted, you, more of you saw them on TWG, but still. See, when I get attacked, my views instantly tank. Just doing the video of uh, the latest, you know, I'm going to be shut down. People flock to the one video, but that was it. My views tanked after that. And so, guess what? I'm doing all these videos this morning. Videos are on the rise again. It's all part of the algorithm program designed against me in YouTube. And so, uh, some, I'm able to continue on doing videos. And... Uh, trying to get ex-Mormons to wake up to the realities that they're not understanding either. Church of Jesus Christ and the Temple of Doom. Come on, guys, these are classics. <laughs> Dating as an ex-Mormon. <laughs> but criminal stuff as well. LDS Church bribed Oklahoma for two million dollars. And then the sister missionaries set the Joseph Smith Memorial building on fire. <laughs> they covered it up. They wouldn't let the fire department investigate. Huh. But the LDS Taiwan Temple has China very mad. That one did well. <laughs> but Joseph Smith exposes Newell K. Whitney as Mormon Danite. They're God, guys. Adam on Diamond, decoded. And uh, Mormon, Last Day's Exodus, Events and Timeline. Mormon Utah evacuation plans are to trust Jesus. 
<laughs> LDS, Mormon, church, sexism, racism, bigotry, oh my. And then LDS church to fall within two weeks. And then, boom, I do false Christ of the great and abominable church. YouTube was ordered enough. Get rid of it. So then I have a follow-up video. LDS Church ordered YouTube to ban this original video. But I'm allowed to continue to do videos. But that ban was purposely designed to get me in the future. And if some other video violates policy guidelines, they're going to get me. So, I do Mormon Armageddon Babies of the Noble Birthright. Come on, guys. <laughs> Who doesn't love babies? And then here's LDS Mormon Church push for religious freedom to rule the world. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, Travis. Uh-oh. Danger zone. Danger. Because then the death threat that Nelson gave me in that October conference was carried out. Russell M. Nelson, president of LDS Church, again orders my assassination. LDS Church president, again, attempts to assassinate me using a transgender person. Update on transgender person used by LDS Church in assassination attempt on me. They survived, thank God. They had to spend a lot of time in the hospital. But, uh, update on tenant used to murder me by LDS Church president. And I'm the bad guy? I'm the one who should be punished, huh? So, LDS Church President replies to being caught attempting to murder me. I filed lawsuits in the federal courts against the church. They know all about me. Mormons, viewers, you don't realize how threatened the church is with my voice. I expose their crimes. I don't just do videos like Mormons choose what is wrong, let the consequences follow, Latter-day prophecies unfulfilled. No, I do uh, other incriminating videos. among some humorous ones that nobody appreciates. Mormon, spelled backwards, is Nazi. LDS <laughs> <laughs> prophets triggering Mormon trauma bubbles. <laughs> Mormon prophet Holland denies, denounces Mormonism, converts to Catholicism. <laughs> but one that was legitimate, which I guess confuses people, as I do satirical titles mixed with real titles. I can understand the confusion. But LDS Prophet Oaks demands destruction of the U.S. Constitution. That was his Virginia talk, where he said that 
the United States was being mean to the church when they denied the church their religious freedom to practice polygamy. And I get so many people who are in denial that they're bringing polygamy back. That they're grooming. They did a big old grooming for April conference. The 666 grooming for polygamy conference. 18 is 666. 6 plus 6 plus 6. Say that fast six times. And so the church knows this. They're watching me. They're getting reports. You know, the majority of my viewers on TWG are the elderly. They give reports to the prophets. And so they're pissed. I did the video. LDS Apostle Holland warns West Jordan young adults of coming destruction. And then LDS Apostle Holland gives me death threat for historic sign in heaven event. They're back at it again. They have had enough. LDS Church President robs 70 missionaries in Mexico at uh, gunpoint. What are missionaries doing on missions during a pandemic? What would Moses do if he just happened to have had a pandemic in Egypt during, you know, maybe like an exodus or something? Maybe call it a Passover? What would Moses do? And so, again, I'm not stopping. Make LDS Church great again. Utah News Review. <laughs> How art thou fallen from heaven, O Mormons? The Mormon star is Jesus. <laughs> Evidence for or against LDS Mormon Church. I guess the thumbnail was too busy for people to care about. But nobody cared about LDS Prophet Oaks gives double Heil salute. I'm the one who caught him the first time around. There was a priesthood session and uh, recording it from my computer. The camera kept lingering to show the prophets as they're leaving and they're waving goodbye to the men as they typically do. Not so much this last conference I noticed. It was a shake the hands of all the prophets as they then go on their way out the door. They cut it off because of me. <laughs> Oaks gave the young men of the choir that conference the Heil Hitler. And YouTube wrongfully banned my video saying I'm the one talking about hate. It is always the bullies and the abusers, the criminals, who claim they're the victims. Always. And thus, that's why police say every criminal says they're innocent. 
sort of begs the question, if they're already criminals, then they're not innocent, but our justice system is all screwed up anyway. LDS prophets silence me over assassination. Travis violated Temple's sacred secrets. But then I come back in full vengeance. Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints is an illegal criminal fraud. And then founding of the LDS Church of Christ with six sons on 6 April 1830. If you know the one that Brigham Young founded of the Mormon Star of Jesus, you'll know the significance of that, the difference. If you can't figure it out by the thumbnail. And then Shanti for Purim. That was an education video for you. But then, boom! Lightning strikes again. Pattern of deaths of LDS Mormon presidents and lunar eclipses. That is proof there is a deity. And it proves that that deity knows about the church and are pissed. And is pissed. Or she's pissed. Or he's pissed. Again, we don't know that much. We only know there's a deity. Because the deity is targeting presidents of this church. And I've gone on to show you others, other prophets. Perry Packer Scott, Hales, McConkie. All of them targeted by this deity. This is not something I can do. It's not something they can control. They don't even know about it. This was my field of education, it's my degree, it is my knowledge and experience and research and publications of all this. Me. Science is how you confirm or deny whether something is true or not. Not opinion. And so then, YouTube comes out with a threatening letter saying that you know, creators are going to be discriminated against and harassed and bullied. And then I saw Aladdin, the live version. And man, did she penetrate my heart. Whew. Even right there, I got shivers all the way down my spine. That she was brilliant. Man. You know, she definitely pulled that video together that Will Smith botched. <laughs> I mean, granted, nobody can match a Robin Williams, but still. <laughs> How art thou fallen from grace, oh Will Smith. <laughs> Slapper. <laughs> and I, I was initially, I never saw it, initially thought that, that he was defending the honor of his wife, and then I found out what Chris Rock actually said, and I went, that isn't abusive. Why was the news purposely covering all this up? I guess they assumed everybody saw it and heard for themselves. Nonetheless, yeah, Will Smith was given the stink eye from his wife and did an importance. And so, then I found out some information. Mormon intellectuals of Mormonism. This would prove to be my death sentence. 
LDS Lord will never allow LDS prophets to lead Mormons astray. And then I get the book that I bought. Mormon prophet plot to overthrow world governments exposed. Way to perfection. Joseph Fielding Smith Jr. And so then I did Mormon Jesus is here Adam on Diamond authority transferred. Lucifer. The fact that it's Lucifer who goes to Adam on Diamond to give Jesus the keys of governments. didn't know that one. The keys of the kingdom are Lucifer's. <laughs> oh my god. Did he not have an editor? <laughs> but that's not the big thing from that. They're plotting to overthrow the world. I've been going over videos talking about the connection to the Danites that Brigham Young was involved with. I've talked about Canandaigua, New York and the threat to America that the Smiths stopped. And so then boom. I find out about the secret combination book of members. I find out about the plot to overthrow America and the government of the world. And so, yes, that's exactly why Senator Mike Lee was involved in overthrowing the government on January 6th. He's a descendant of Danite baby and mommy murderer. John D. Lee. And so, because of this, that's all, folks. LDS Church destroys me after 23 years. And I show the little missionary card that was placed at my bus stop where I got my money. And then I thought it was going to be my final video series, Restoring the Kingdom of Deseret. And then was able to point out to you guys that my brother Todd is responsible for the LDS membership number confusion church. If you didn't watch my video on the membership stats for last year, uh, they purposely put in old numbers. That was what they did. They don't want to show you how collapsed the church is. And so they just put in the old numbers. <laughs> my brother works in the membership records department to look for lost Mormons and he lost them. The church has collapsed. So the few are a minority who are that aggressive. Like I said, they have no power but what we give them. They are few in number. And so if they go to war against us, they will be outnumbered. And so, that whole plot was to evict me. They took away my money. They wanted me evicted. But it didn't work. Because this was rent controlled. And as a result, in January,
Uh, yeah, we find out about Mormon murders beyond what we already know. Some hidden ones that have been unburied. Uh, LDS Church postpones conquering the world until 2025. I still have the old version of the Lunar Tetrad before I eventually learned... Oh! Oh, solar eclipses! <gasps> falling stars! Oh, that's what the scriptures mean. Sun shall be darkened, moon turned to blood, stars fall from heaven. Those are tetrads! Full tetrad! Yeah. And so... That actually did well. And the church had to... The YouTube employees had to stop my videos. They literally have to stop breakouts from occurring. And that was one of them. Mormons betray their faith as Joseph Smith prophesies, prophecies fulfilled. That's a Christian church. And it looks just like a Mormon one. It's got the same symbol. <laughs> yeah. And so, yeah. Second coming in clouds of glory. All of a sudden, I'm talking about war coming. War. War. LDS Church President gives Mormons Judas kiss. Mormons who? Two hundred and sixteen years? I think I put hundred and sixteen years in the, the picture. Because I had to change the title as I saw the typing error. And... Where is it? I keep scrolling up. <laughs> the Golden Football. Thank you, Random Muse, for that picture. <coughs> and then talking about Exodus. Talking about the signs in the heavens this year. The fourth anniversary of Monson's scriptural fulfillment. He never. Any time now, also, Beltegis is supposed to blow, but the the two um, suns uh, at the end of Cygnus have not collided yet either. Uh, what are you guys waiting for? Uh, so yes, wars, destructions, uh, LDS church name bombshell, yeah, it's a prophecy, uh -huh. not a name change, kamikaze Mormons, Mormon murderers, anachronisms, abomination of desolation destroying Mormons, who cast me out. I have no idea when I'm going to leave during all this. So I do a Book of Mormon Exodus patterns. Other destructions left behind. Doing church history corrections for you. Uh, Joseph Smith Master Mason. Tornadoes, which all this week we're expecting tornadoes. And villain origin story of LDS Church President Death Threat. And then... We'll do the couple lines here. What Mormons are to expect in the millennium. Mormon Babylon Band prophesied destruction. The villain origin story of LDS Church President Death Threat to Me. Jesus Card as translator for the LDS Church. LDS Church makes Mormons understand Muslims they can't refuse. Joseph Smith receives keys of kingdom in Kirtland Temple. And I'll give you a hint, not from Lucifer. 
<laughs> Mormons see signs in heaven and search scriptures for Mormon Christ. Right? Yeah, nobody did. And then false Christ of the great and abominable church. gone. You will not find it here. You will only see Mormons believe Joseph Smith is supernatural, not human. And a literal, not literal thing I did this morning. And so 12 days ago, after three months, this is only a test. They shut me down not just for conference, they shut me down for the war that I'd already been warning you about was coming. They wanted me silenced. Travis is not welcome in Mormon, Utah. And yet, Mormons across the United States arrested deducting tithing on taxes. We're legally allowed to do that. That's not the point. It's not the point. Who's on the thumbnail? So, understand that what's going on right now is all part of this whole thing targeting me to shut the hell up and leave the church alone to destroy the world. Murder you guys and replace you. Mormons are going to replace you. anti-Semites. The church is a hate crime organization. They're supposed to be labeled as such. All these Mormons committing crimes and murders. The church is a hate crime, a hate group. But they're not getting labeled as such. They're not getting held accountable for their crimes. They're getting away with everything. Mormon abuses gaslit as religious freedom victims. So, this is an awful long video, and I have to shower and shave and do laundry. But uh, if this video gets up, great. <laughs> I'm not expecting it because of the abuses of the church.